Solway, and welcome to my Roman bath project, where I decided to create my own model of a Roman bath, and it has a working hypocost system and everything, which is uh, pretty cool. So, as you enter the baths, you will probably notice the palaestra first, which is the exercise yard. I chose to add some targets for archery, in which uh, if you shoot the button in the middle, the torch on the top will light up saying that you hit the target. If you get tired of archery, you can always head over to the natatio or swimming pool and uh, do a swim. Yeah, do a swim. And uh, next we're heading to the men's baths. So uh, here's the men's changing room. And uh, as you can see, the men have hung up togas. And uh, they can choose to either go to the frigidarium, which is the cold room, or the tepidarium and caldarium which are the warm and hot baths. Now the frigidarium you can see is a completely separate room than the frigida the the tepidarium and the caldarium because the warm air from the hypocost will not get over here to keep the water cool. Also, it has very dim lighting so that the lights will not heat up the baths and it has no natural lighting as all the other b rooms do. Next, the tepidarium or warm room. Um, it's pretty popular because it's not too hot and not too cold. And uh, now the caldarium, the hot room, it's a big room because it wasn't only used for being in the hot bath. It was also used for other things such as like uh, different treatments and stuff. But oh no, it seems like the bath is not on. Let's go fix that by going to the furnace room. Now, as we head to the furnace room, the way it works, you put something in the furnace, uh, like so, and then, as you can see, the furnace turns on. Now, I'm not going to head back over there because it's kind of a far walk, but it does turn on the baths, as we will see in the women's section. So, here is the women's changing room, and um, it's actually very popular, I do not know why, it's just a changing room. But um, here are the warm baths for the women. And uh, as you can see, it is a much smaller bath than the men's bath because women had less rights back then and they got smaller baths and stuff like that. And yes, as you can see, here's the women's caldarium, also a smaller bath. And uh, it is on because the hypocost system um, turned it on. And now we're going to head over to the bathroom or latrine and the single baths. So yeah, here's the latrine, where uh, there are people in the toilets. And here is the fully operational bath, single bath. And as you can see, you pull the lever, the water comes down, and then you can take a bath. Next, we're going to head over and see how you create a building of this type. And it's a uh, quite a grand building so it takes a decent amount of time to get to the other side and uh, here we are all the way down here um, it seems like it got foggy out so it might be a bit hard to read um, so first make a foundation build the rooms build the furnace add the baths add water to the baths and decorate so yeah that about sums up my bath project and uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at this big bath which is uh, pr pretty cool